Tea is hot, baby. <laughs> baby. This tea is hot. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Jane is here. Jane from Pang back with another message, baby. And look, <laughs> we've been at the table for a while. I had to, I had, look, we gonna talk about it in a second. Cause this seven of swords to the eight of cups, baby, we hot. This, <laughs> baby, they thought they were slick. Look at that. And it's in reverse. You see this? Page of Wands is in reverse. Oh, I think my whole deck was in. Oh, but look at this. Look at that. Okay, look at that. You see? Hey, y'all. It's Jane. Let's see you're back with another message. Hey, look, just to let y'all know, I miss y'all. Hey, my bad. I know I just jumped in there, but I'm like, y'all, I had a whole freaking thing already. Like, me and the spirits was already, they been in the building. They been in the house. They always in the house, you know, because we always working. And spirit said, uh-uh. Like, trust me, y'all. I, I literally, it, spirit didn't let me. Like, they must be wanting it to be fresh. And I noticed when these two cards came out, I said, oh, shoot, I better start recording. Because before you know it, it's going to be a whole spread. A whole spread like it was before. So what I'm trying to say is, y'all, I had a whole fucking spread here. I was like, dude, I'm going to just have to go live. Because you know what I mean? In my mind, I'm like, of course, I want to start fresh and let, you know, let y'all be able to experience the buildup. But I was just like, dang. This needs to be said. So anyway, they said, don't worry about that. We about to put them out. So look, with the eight, we, seven of swords and the eight of cups, just we already starting off bad. Like what the fuck? Like, of course not. It ain't, it ain't bad for us collective. It's bad for them. Who was them? Them. They. Okay. Listen. Okay. Let's stay focused. So somebody's pretending. Somebody's deceptive here. And you overcame this, though. And somebody is fucking shocked that you overcame it. That's what it is. My bad, y'all. I was not planning to go live. But Spirit said, <laughs> you ain't got what you thought this was. Okay, so they really want to. So this is somebody is really not playing so much. Like, bro, the, the fucking tower is in reverse. What? What is going on? Death is in reverse. Strength is in reverse from these people. So this is someone who their communication is off because like these people must be trying to speak. Yo, okay, sorry. Let me just calm down because I'm just like, dang. Okay, so first of all, the communication is open from you and the most high. That's a duh. That's a given. They've been telling me all day that you've been in interaction with your higher self, with the freaking gods with the spirits with the higher realms like that is the thing you're playing pity pat you know to the, yeah you, you know what i'm saying look this is in reverse even so i get a strong heavy and i hate to say this like and i rebuke this before i even say it and rebuke it after which is anything in the sleep realm like people think they plan see but that's all revealed already like you yo i don't even have much to say about that but i want to speak and touch on that so somebody can hear that and understand like you know what? This is unfortunately part of the process sometimes. And it's like, you know what? You just keep pushing through them shadow days, baby. Them um, motherfucking dark night of the souls, okay? Let me tell you, who ain't, you know, I've been, who ain't been through a few, huh? <laughs> okay? Listen, I, mm -mm. we all, listen, you supposed to be in that concert, that concert shadow work. Look, four cups in reverse. I seen this um this page Naughty I think her name is like not Naughty something N O T T Y but she had said that you know of course other people had said it but she was one of the first people I heard say it and I was like you know I liked her delivery and it really hit me but anyway I want to get you know I always give credit where it's due I don't want to make it child look at the this freaking deck is being funny look at that so this is oh yeah also I was getting the energy earlier it was a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords so that is um. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. There was also fire sign too. Aries, Leo, Sag, for sure. This high priest in reverse. So somebody's blinding work is not going to work. Somebody's binding is not. Bro, somebody's being fucking caught. I'm going to just stop being fucking nice, bitch. Somebody got caught and they stuck in your energy and they, they're passed up. Like they probably been stuck a long time and they didn't forgot where the fuck they at. And then by the time they come out, they're looking at you like, what the fuck? They, they like. I should have never did this with your honor. Should have never did this. What is this? It's just, they just, no matter what way I turn the deck, they're coming out in reverse. So it's like, they, like I said, they said what they said. So who is this? A knight of one. So the messages are not being delivered. Wait a minute. Mm, so this, 
Okay, so this person, the reason why they're doing this weird stuff, I guess they're trying to make a case. It seems like they're trying to make a fucking case right now, but whatever, it's up to you if you, you know, see it that way or not, because either way, there's a divine message, but I do want to point that part out just to make that fucking clear. This person's spear team is definitely over here pleading the motherfucking case, and if that's not what they want to do, they better get the fuck up out of here, bitch. Yeah, period. So back to what we were saying. So, you know, because it's an even give or take, I don't remember if I said it on camera or not, but I'm gonna say it right now, this part, which is 50-50, like, you know, it's not like, no, not 50-50 like that. I'm not saying like that. I mean, if that's for a person, if it is, if it's not, it's not, I'm not, I meant like, I'm not commenting on that, my bad. I'm coming in more on the yin and yang, you know, dark and light. Like, you have to have the, what is it? The alchemize, the, the even energy. You know, I'm not on that right now. So child, my brain, but look, see this? But this, that's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all caught that thing on camera. So I saw wolves earlier too. Symbol of fear, anxiety, and dreams. The moon lights your path to higher understanding, but the light is weak. A pale reflection of the sun. Darker things come to the surface under the light of the moon. Under the light of the moon. Mm, like a crustacean emerging from the bottom of a pond. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You got the Ten of Pentacles. So this also was telling me earlier that your peoples are with you too. Somebody's trying to trying to take, somebody trying to control something, take somebody, take something. I mean, like, you know, almost like run studies. Mm -mm. But we also got the lovers. So just remember that as long as you stay in constant uh, unison with you and your higher self and you and what you believe in, then you're good. Let's see. Oh. Yes. Okay. Y'all. Mm, mm. Right. Listen, you walking away from listen, you said, baby, I'm in the moment. Okay. <laughs> I make I make I do me off bucks because I'm in unison with my motherfucking higher self. I'm sorry, y'all. I probably jumped and I'm gonna stay here at the jump. We had to make a boat jump. Y'all know those of you who know know we just had to make a quick boat jump. So let me tell you, this this we on now. So I know y'all can keep up though. It ain't nothing. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, back to it. So, the whole mother freaking point is this. The tower did not go in, in, in the way. This reverse hit them hard. It hit them, and it hit them hard. And But they do want to give up these attachments. They do want to give up these contracts that they made, maybe these ideas, these ways they tried to spy on people, hop in through social media for sure. But this is also, like, sending buzz in the, in the mental buzz. Like, it's just like, yeah, that type of way. Like, mm-hmm. And then it's also like that mind stuff is what fuels somebody else's passions here. And take that where it resonates this collective reading. Um, so yeah, but the high priest is in reverse because this, okay. Oh, something I just forgot to say way early. Eight of cups is the breakup card. So huh. yeah, so this is definite breakup vibes. Like somebody ended the relationship. I don't want to pick this person up. This page is a young and it's a child. Oh, also this could be a problem with the child. Somebody is at school. Because this also looks like a kid with a fucking, to me, she looks like a little girl with like a lunch, like a lunch tray a little bit. So with the page of wands and the page of swords, that could also be two children here. Oh, somebody could have left their family here. Definitely, I'm seeing that. Somebody left the relationship for sure. And I feel like maybe it could be that time has healed things or like. Mm. but see that's also like if somebody wants to even circle back because you also want to understand that you know every situation is is it's is its own so you must treat it as such meaning both ends of the spectrum so you must make the best decision for totality and listen i'm not gonna go there with it but listen guys so with this two of swords in reverse, somebody's playing too freaking much. And I'm not really honing in on that, you guys, especially those y'all who are readers. If you're wondering like, dang, Jane, like why you why you don't like, you know, why you ain't pointing out how bad these people is trying to blind us or how bad they're blind? It's like somebody's definitely not seeing something. But for me, it's like, mm, but I feel like you know that already. Like this is this is the type of energy was like, you know this though. With the page, both both pages in reverse, and then you got a knight. 
the high priest is in reverse. I mean, what else they want you? They're like, what else you want me to say, bitch? You and your lover, y'all is prime time. You and your higher self, y'all are prime time. You and your business, y'all are prime time. Whether you, what, no matter what stage your business is in. Because just like Nikola Tesla, I mean, listen, you can look this up. He, according to him and the stuff that he left behind, you know, he got everything in his mind. Then he put it on paper. <laughs> and these are the type of things we're talking about here. You should look him up if you don't know him. Definitely if you don't know him. Just add a quick, Google, quick, quick, quick snap. <laughs> quick, quick, quick Google search, okay? Google search. Put Nikola Tesla in there and screenshot that now. All right. Bam. So look him up and you'll be happy that you did. All you got to do is Google it. You can even look at the Wikipedia. And let me put you on the game, guy, y'all. I don't know if... It, Wikipedia can be changed by anybody. Last time I checked. And I don't know, like, that was much more common knowledge back then. I ain't hating on Wikipedia. They definitely up their game. But I do also want to make that clear. You always want to look for .orgs and .net. This is just what I was taught educationally from somewhere else. So I'm just, I'm just schooling the girls. I'm just schooling the kids, you know? Just help doing what I can for the people. Right, I'm just doing what I can. And that's you. You're like, I'm just doing what I can for the people it's like at a point you're like uh -uh, i'm controlling the whole narrative like of your own life though because you're like but see you understand the, the fine line between certain things though this is someone who for some reason it's like they bringing up this king of wands because this is somebody who is really needing a lot of help um this either either this is someone doing this to them though for some of them but also, they're also in the background, though. That's what I'm also getting is what whoever this is right here. Let me let me be very clear with what I'm saying. So it makes sense. OK, because it's a little complicated of a situation. But listen, leadership, vision, honor, masculinity, you know, ultimate, you know, ultimate, whatever, masculine energy, which is in men and women, period. And that's scientific. Huh? Really, you can look that up, too. You should look that up if you don't know that. Which all of you know that, I know that, I'm sure. Maybe a few of y'all who don't, but... And so for those of y'all who might not know, just go look it up. What? Girl, please. So anyway, back to the situation. You can look at the picture. Like, you don't even gotta know what the cards say, but just look at this picture. He got... You know what I mean? So... But this is someone who... This could be someone who gets a lot of attention or... Definitely, they work behind the scenes a lot to make sure that they manifest things. Um, but this person has a lot of vision and honor as well. So even if this is happening to a person, it's like, but they 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 still see it. They still they still in the being like they still being me. Like they still they ready. You know, like they're like any moment. Like you know, because people do get you know dealt a bad hand and stuff. Now, I'm not saying that for everybody. Definitely not use the sermon on that. Okay. That's for sure. Please use discernment on this. This is very important because it's just for some people. Mm, my bad. I didn't even mean to go off that way. But anyway, it was coming out earlier. And so I guess when they came out again on camera, I'm like, okay. All right. So let's see. So I didn't pull out really. Let me pull out my other cards. Let's see. Yes. So girl, please. They trying to have you. People always stealing from them. See, they're used to people stealing from them and being in backwards energy with them. Look at that. And this is, and so this is, they feel like all they are is their money. That must be how people treat them. Wow. This is sad. Yeah, they feel like they have to keep up appearances here because things are moving too fast. They're getting a lot of communication. This, for some of them, this is somebody who's making a lot of promises. They're doing stuff out of town. Like this is somebody with an out of town lover for sure. It's online dating, like eight of wands. Eight of wands is also love of your, okay, hold on. I'm seeing, okay, slow down y'all, wait. Okay, they want me to say love of your life, but I was gonna say love at first sight. Look, so for some reason, Wow. Oh, so he's also missing his eyes. I just noticed that. So there's eyes right here. And this this gentleman, this strength card is missing their eyes too. Ooh. Because I was going to say, this almost looks like, obviously it looks like three eyeballs, but now I see that's actually not. But there's an eyeball right here though. But listen, so with the strength to the three of wands, but the imagery though is so different. And they've been calling these cards out. Do you know what I'm saying? 
But look, let me just say this and then I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do it how I wanna do it. Okay, the moon is right there. So we are, we're having a full moon right now. Right now we're having a full, a pink moon in Jupiter. Whenever you see this message, it is for you for sure. Child, you don't need me to tell you that. This is your situation. <laughs> you know, I love you, no disrespect. I mean all the respect and the love. And I'm glad you're here for it, okay, baby? We, I'm glad you're here because I'm here with you, honey. We helps each other grow. This is a, I, I love to tell the tea. I'm glad you're coming to me. And just know when you don't see me, I'm thinking about y'all. I love y'all. I send y'all. That's what I'm doing is sending y'all love. And I know y'all are sending me love because I can feel it. And so we are just breaking through. Let me just say that to somebody. To all y'all watching here, okay? You, listen, I love y'all and I see y'all and look. Your girl is working on expressing that better to y'all so that y'all know because we in this together, baby. So, amen. And thank y'all. Thank you to every single last one of y'all that has ever been here and done anything. I'm talking about with love and intention, of course, with love and the best intentions. But yeah, just know, even down to the likes and all of that, a like is not, a like is a person. You know what a like is? A like is a person. A like is still a person hitting the like button. So it's like, I don't see it like that. I see it like people. So that's just me. But anyway, and as soon as y'all know that, so sending you um, virtual healing and abundance and appreciation and gratitude because we in this together and baby, we've been working a long time. <laughs> we meaning we and all the spirits, baby. This, this right here, this is, this is working right here. But anyway, let me stay focused y'all. I just wanna know I love y'all, okay? And I just extra feel it right now with y'all. But listen, with this strength to the three of wands, baby, you is communicating loyalty to the fullest. Like, that is exactly what they're saying. And this is leaving somebody lost in the dust. Like, for real. Three of wands with it? Yo, and then they're telling everybody about this breakup. They're probably even, they're lying about it. They have, Oh, so somebody has no mystery to them as well either. Mm, you could have a lot of access to mysticism. For some of you guys, this could be something that you're interested in. Practice safely if it is. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make mistakes, though. Remember that, too. It's about how many times you get up. So as long as you're not hurting anybody, that's the key part. That's actually, let's, let's make that clear. With harm to none is, is what we stand on. Okay? And remember, I have a card that says harm to none doesn't mean I won't slap yo behind. But it just means, right. But it just means, you know, we good, though the sun card okay make a wish now this was coming out earlier y'all now just look at the imagery on this card okay this is the judgment card you see all that i was like wow is this like the cushion in africa no nah, i'm just kidding let's see but yeah, so how are you getting these things, that things done is by seeing what's coming in the future. Manifesting under the full moon. Three of wands. This is me. This means your your prayers are going straight up to the most high, honey. For real. How, come on now. We got the hierophant. Come on. You're sticking to traditions. You're doing you. Somebody's been ascended. Somebody's high priestess. Somebody's getting it. Like, you got the hierophant. That's big Taurus energy. Taurus placements here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere Taurus might be in your chart. Look at Taurus in your... Uh, in your charts, in your personal chart. Look at that, King, Knight of Cups. That's going to be what saves the day. That's going to be what helps you romanticize your life here. But somebody has to listen to these aha moments. Somebody's child has strong visions. Somebody's child is walking through like the dimensions, yo. I just almost saw Al up there. This is, wow, this Page of Cups is very important here. I low-key feel like somebody's child is like, um, is like the, like the one that all the other kids look to, like, you know, the one anointed by, like the one that other kids trust because they got this cup. But this could also be for some of you guys, this could be someone that's chasing a lot of dreams, whether it's yourself or your child or somebody that's very immature as well. This is also, but if it's not someone that's immature, it's also definitely new um, opportunities. I think it's like, how I have it, okay? Yeah, I sure do development yeah something's developing new in um look two of pentacles see it's well see your guides let me tell you let me tell you all parts so some of you guys is definitely juggling two fucking people could be two people younger than you <clears throat> 
somebody juggling their their two kids that they have with someone two families yeah this is heavy on the side jobs businesses part-time job when i say side job i mean part-time job so this is someone who's a preacher on the side could be a what's it start with a d what's it um look five of wands a deacon five of wands here mm, this is like a pinata of a spider here Lots of gossip, fighting energy, bickering, but maybe it's friendly play. Will of Fortune. This could be Papa Lekwa for some people. Yeah, definitely. That's confirmation. Okay. Shout out Papa Lekwa, okay? So if any of y'all work with Papa Lekwa, they <laughs> look at that magician card. Yep. They said they see you as a magician, but okay, they're the one that must be, for some of you guys, Papa Lekwa, well, I'm sorry. Let me just, this is all with permission and respect. Um, Let me tell you. The crossroads in general are speaking to you at this time. Look at that. They want you to fold so fucking bad, bitch. This, this them. This day on their best day. A bitch can fuck with you on your worst day. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. So back to what I was saying was you knocking these bitches to the flow. And it's making them want to sleep. Yo, it's making them like turned on. This is so weird. What is this? Four of Cups, because they ain't never seen nothing like this. See. Anytime they share these type of views and everything that you're coming with, they got laughed out the room. Oh, but now they see you and they want to drop they they want to drop their draws. Like that's wild. But anyway, let's not tell their business today. Okay, so let's see. As if I have control, you know, spirit can tell their business if they want. If they, okay, then that's on period. But listen, remember, look at that. But okay. Queen of Swords, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy, just speaking your truth, being clear, honest, direct, but also still being nurturing, of course, you know, that's, you know, that's why you're in the Queen Energy versus the King, and it's not, like I said, it's genderless, I should say, I should be very clear on that, Tarot is genderless, though, because it's about the energy, it's about the energy of the situation, yep, Four, four Swords, rest yourself. The sun. So something about tell the truth. The truth is coming out. I feel like somebody, you are very blessed. Like you are blessed. You get to rest and think about things. Look, eight of swords, but somebody doesn't know how blessed they are. Somebody thinks that they're still left out. And that, oh, this is because they're playing too much time with the dark energies. Like that are untapped, untamed. Like, like this is a sport. This isn't a like a limbo. Like this is not like no bullshit. Look at that. Like. Like, no, there's fucking rules here. If you got like, it's like, if you got a problem with a C, C ass at the dope, like, uh uh. My house belongs to, my house belongs to the Holy Spirit, and it is covered by the blood of Jesus, and amongst other things, honey. So, yeah. Okay. Look, the Emperor, bitch, come on now. It's two. You got the Hierophant and the uh, Emperor here. Listen, this is good. All right, so let's clarify the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles want to take a nap, bitch. This person is tired of working. They and I get it. Shoot, they ain't gonna have to work. They ain't gonna have to work much longer. This is somebody who's misunderstood for some of y'all. Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's tied down by. This is for some reason it's giving me a little bit of nostalgic vibes, like a little bit of nostalgia. Just the way that this is paired with this, it makes me think of like, um, you know, the pumpkin patch, like during Halloween. You see, look at that. So, you got the Devil card and the Empress. So this is like somebody made a bad decision one night. Maybe somebody made a karmic baby, and that's. I mean, let me tell you something. God doesn't make mistakes, so. Whatever it was, life made away. That's how you can look at it at the end of the day. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, you're handed lemons. You got to make lemonade, you know? But you are in the Empress energy. So, but yeah. And so the only thing that could, baby, you are in one with the devil energy. Like, you're in one with your own dark energy. They, you're, you left the devil energy onto them because it's like you have to have a different type of respect for this type of stuff. You have to, like, they have, see, they will say a word, but you will have way more. Un You'll have understanding and overstanding about it. Like, that's the life you live. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm just letting y'all know. Like, somebody needs to know, like, that's the truth. It's right here in the cards. It's just right here, even down to the pictures. Okay? So, yeah, y'all need to know this because y'all are coming out very strong here. And it's, yeah. 
look at that queen of swords they said talk your shit bitch okay i'm gonna tell y'all so you got the aries here with the emperor you got the leo y'all got fi heavy fire energy here queen of swords king of pentacles is capricorn taurus and virgo that's the very first card up here so this could be this is heavy capricorn energy that that y'all are dealing with here mm. but again this is someone who's trying to be in control they have they could have a control spell over them or they're they're just trying to save all their money they're very money motivated yeah and they're just only manifesting money but it's like yo it's like money 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 it's like no you need to manifest abundance you need to you have to manifest being in alignment with it with the energy yep you have to speak what you need passionately so I feel like, oh, look at that, right under three of wands. I didn't even plan that, for real. Okay, three of wands to the knight of wands. Yep, somebody's being very clear about what they see in the future. And you're seeing clearly, this is really good. So is this person, though? Normally, I wouldn't be on the side of, it's not like normally I wouldn't be, look at that, eight of pentacles. It's not like normally I wouldn't be on the side. It's just like, I see what, the, see, somebody is trying to cloak this person. That was what I'm, it was what I should really say. It's like, somebody really is trying to cloak this person that I'm talking to you guys about that's asking for your help right now. Cause let's be clear. This person is spiritually asking you for a lot of help. Like that's exactly what they're asking for you for right now. So it's up to you on if you give that to it, but that's not, the, that's up to you. That's not up to me, but let me finish with the story. So back to the situation, they're being covered by an energy that hates to see them win. And they're like making, they're, it's like the opposite of glamour. And I rebuke that. Okay, with their permission of their spirit team, I break that off of them with the power of my spirit team, with divine justice, okay? I break that off in the name of Jesus. And I send it back to where it came. <laughs> times 10. We'll be nice times 10. I'm saying, I'm saying it. Yeah, okay? Because we got this eight of um, pentacles as well. Underneath the strength. But what I was trying to say was, I get it, right? I get it if you didn't want to help this person and then you ended up helping them. No, that's going to, that, there is, let me tell you something, y'all. If that is your situation and there's only a select, like a select hand few of y'all, for real. And if you need to clarify, again, I am still doing my free readings. Please come prepared, baby. And just please, and send me that email to let me know that you, if you, if you're not going to make it, do it 24 to 48 hours in advance. If, if you can, thank you. That's my rules. Okay. But look. We making magic here. But anyway, let me focus to you to tell you all this. Um, so I get it, right? But if, and I'm talking about only if, if this is like someone that's a good friend, a, fa a good family member, like a good loved one, you know, in, in any sort of way, your child, definitely it is your child still for some of y'all. I mean, whoever this is for y'all, just be honest with yourself about this. And if you know that this person is maybe misunderstood or like, you know, maybe you didn't give them the best chance or whatever, like, or something. Just, it just like be real with yourself, but don't over romanticize anything. You see what I'm saying? Because there's also another party that I'm not going to, that we're going to steer clear of, but there's also, there's multiple parties here. So the one that we're going to focus on is this. So you got to focus on what you believe. This is a, this is actually a firm energy of what are you standing on? Standing on business or yeah, that's what you said it on only. This is a new dimension because you have put the work in. So again, you're going to defend who you feel you need that you deserve deserves your defending. Deserves your fending and your defending. Because it's true. You have to be able to trust your own instincts and energy and understand that yo, spirit got my back. Period. Been with me. The, the universe has been with us this long. They're not leaving us now. Thank you, God. Oof. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Christ. You know. I mean, you see, I, I'd be a little, you know, you know, I hold it in, but that's what I really feel and believe. That's what brought me over to spirit was definitely Jesus and the Holy Spirit, like for sure. And I'm gr grateful and glad. That's it. Period. It's always going to be with me. So that's just me. If you don't like it. Okay. Well, skedaddle, bitch. And this is you talking to anybody who don't like it. You like mm -mm, skedaddle, bitch. You see, because look at these candles. What he going to do? Okay, he thinks he's going to jump right over it and then his tail going to light on fire. That's, that's what's going to happen. Like, he be, he better be glad I'm being nice saying that he's going to even jump over it. Like, he most likely needs to put his foot down there to jump. You see what I'm saying? He ain't got the, I just heard wherewithal. Like, okay, I'm not being disrespectful. But again, this is heavy on the kid energy too. So look, this is a night, again, the king of wands has come out here. And they, you know, they want to be your emperor. They want to make up for lost time. Somebody does. But see, the problem is there's, there is somebody that is going to try to move in real quickly on you for some reason in the mental department, contract department with 
your traditions and what you believe in. So lawyer, preacher, somebody like that could be your job or this person's job for show. Somebody's manager moving up. Definitely. But like I said, like heavy on the high priest, like the hierophant, you know, high priestess. Look at that. Even like a vampire energy. This could be like a vampire priest of some sort. Yeah, this. Okay. And this could be a, somebody that sent they minions. Remember that. Okay. We said that earlier, but it just came out again. Okay. Look, we got the page of wands again, pages and judgment. So they sent somebody too little. They sent somebody real, 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 real tiny, small appetizer, like real. They sent somebody real tiny to play. What? They, what? They sent a page to fuck with you. I know they ain't do. Baby, if they did that, they deserve all the, let me tell you, they deserve all the judgment anyway, because the universe says so. But especially if, baby, if you send all pages down for my collective, you was a dumb bitch. They's a dumb bitch. You know what I mean? They's a dumb bitch if they sent that down for y'all. What? Oh, no. No, ma'am. See, because they had to pick their own poison, they got tricked. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Your team tricked the fuck out of them, bitch. Good. What is this? What you, uh-uh. I'm not even gonna look. Let me do it for y'all. See, you see what I'm trying to, I can't make this shit up, y'all. I just look at that justice. I said, I'm gonna be nice. That's why I didn't flip it. Spirit said, no, nah, do it. Flip it. I flipped that whole justice. You just had judgment in my hands, but you got the tower at the fucking bottom of. This is beautiful. Look at that Knight of Cups because you've been betting on you, winning on you. Knights of Cups is like romantic invites, invitations. You've been getting invites to different groups, invites to different places definitely lots of date requests or at least people are thinking it wow this is a lot like i said this eight of cups okay you have a lot of people regretting things from the past so yeah again remember we are still at the tail end of um, retrograde you know we may or may not be in it anymore by the time you see this video but it's still the energy so i'm going to point out that you know exes do come back of course that's part of mercury retrograde but with this eight of cups honey they'll do anything Watch her. And I need you. Well, I, I, I really start. And I still miss you. That's the that's really what I heard. But okay, let me, let me get it right, baby. Okay. They really want to provide for you now. I don't know, girl. Don't ask me what to do. Hell, you need you might need a person over this. I'm just telling the story. This is what's going on. We need to get some advice though, though. We're gonna get some advice. We'll get some advice. Let's see. All right. What is this? Five of Wands. Yeah, so stand your ground. I just keep hearing stand your ground, honey. Like, bitch, remember we said stick to who you are. In the words, I was watching Ari and uh, Ari, you know, the Don, of course. Hey, and Bobby Altov, I was watching. And she said, stand on. You got to have your own personality. Look at that. Two of Cups, somebody that you met already, a lover, business coach, business partner, like, girl. Somebody got big money here. You're very much in touch with your higher self, though. And your soulmate is on the way, if not, like, there. Like, honey, if this person ain't your soulmate, it's on the way. And things are, and look, you're, people are being blocked from coming to your house. Literally. Somebody has embarked on a new separation. A new, you separated from parts of you that, you just, new separation. I'm not going to explain too much because let me just keep going. All right? They trying to stop you, girl, but I'm going to get it off for y'all. Y'all know, listen, at this point, I'm my bad. Y'all know I'm, y'all know me by now. So look, four wands. This is marriage energy. You see the two children. And I was literally thinking, you're just walking through something. You see, like, she could be walking through this. Like, it's just so deep. But somebody is being blocked from coming to your fucking house. This is even funny because this looked like where you hang the um the laundry out to dry. So she in the backyard doing laundry with the kids and, and you got a fucking protection system right at the front. So what's up with you hoes like that? It's right there. It's a, it's right there. I mean, I didn't even put this in a face collective. I know y'all wanting to see it. Let me let y'all see. You got a dog down here. You got collective. There's one, two kids. Another adult was probably three kids. You got the sword here. Somebody walking. So there's like one, two, three, four people here. You know what I mean? The emperor is Aries energy. But you see, somebody's very much man manifesting stability into their life. Somebody wants to be a husband here, a wife, like. But bitch, they are blocking any foolish energy, any foolish territory that I just heard. Knight of Cups. So somebody's being courted by a lot of people who want to like make. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sound. I'm just. I'm just gonna tell you. Tell you how I hear it. Let's see. It. Listen, feel it. All that. Let me tell you something right now. Somebody, you're getting a lot of court offers to to really 
unites different kingdoms. It's really like that. Like you are really, y'all are combining different kingdoms, like parts of the kingdom, however you want to put it. Like that's real right there. You know, there's different kingdom connections, you know, in my, you know, in my opinion, you know, in my life, you know, from what I see. But you remember, so, so there's a lot th of things developing spiritually that you are hip to and aware of. You are very, so something is developing, you're, you're finding out that this person wanted some sort of energy tried to develop into your life. It, first of all, you overcame this, so congratulations, but something was trying to over. Something was trying to hold on to a little piece of a breakup that maybe you was a human on. What I mean by that is you might have fell, but you got back up, right? So somebody might have tried to, this energy might have tried to attach to that one little shame. Ooh, little shame was there. We rebuke that, okay? Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in the name of Jesus, God, Son, Holy Spirit. And if you don't believe in that, okay, not that's not for y'all. Trust me, that skips over y'all. But I send y'all love with permission anyway. Listen, so they wanted you to keep thinking about that one night or like, like that one time that you maybe felt like you slipped or something, but it's like, but did you slip though? Because like you still made it though. Look at that, the chariot. So that's the beauty of life. Like you still made it though. Like everybody has a choice every single day. Like when they say you got the same 24 hours, like it's true though. Okay. But you got strong protection at the door. Somebody trying to breadcrumb you, but I'm telling you some spirit, it's really your spirit guides that are like allowing these things to happen because they really want you to know like, something yeah they really want you to know that somebody was juggling you or or you were juggling somebody was juggling you okay first of all magically also like player type energy too because a magician can be a trickster can be a player right page of cups somebody was juggling you and their family here you and their childhood trauma you and their child two women you and their job or their business you take it where it resonates but because, like, for real, if you're in a happy relationship, honey, you know this is not for you, so don't even do that. That's where you have to know what this Eight of Swords, you know? the text. One of the textbook terms of the Eight of Swords literally is, is that a person is stuck in this mental prison, you know? They're, they have these swords around them, so and they're blindfolded. They can't see, but they do know that there are swords around. So, of course, naturally, they're feeling a little antsy and so this person just doesn't move they're, they're allowing themselves to be stuck in the, between these swords because they don't see that they could just walk right the fuck out if they just carefully walk through they could walk right out and free themselves but they refuse to look that's what the eight of swords is about here and so they're saying you're releasing that you're letting that go right and i see what happened to you people tried to run off they also tried to like okay future shout out future they also tried to um you know keep you in your place like okay keep a place in your life but they can come back and so but i feel like you are very much over that here like you're done like i feel like somebody made it to this mummy stage like somebody could have learned about eternal girl this about to get deep girl how, how deep y'all want to get and remember girl is gender is gender free okay it's it's unisex for real i'm serious i'm serious because you you can even get deep and say like no no i'm not gonna do that today anyway look we just doing divination here. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Listen, seven of swords, eight of swords. Let's see, how many swords is that? Fifteen swords, bitch. That breaks down to a six. So somebody could be a life past six. The month of June, your birthday could be in June. This could be the number six. Like your birthday could be the six. Or like your birthday could break down to a six. What do I mean? You add either your physical birth dates, like the, the day that you're born on, or the month, year, and date together and make it into one number. Whatever you want to do. But listen... There's a raccoon here, so there's toilet paper, you know. But yeah, remember what I said though. Let me I, I, let me make sure I finish the thought, which is this: with that seven of swords, seven of swords to the eight of swords, like you're good. Like, but somebody, somebody really reversed this shit hard, and the in spirit said you got to do this because they really tried to make you feel out. They really had you like that. Well, they thought they had you like that though, because it's like I saw. Um, unalive by chocolate look you still got the two of swords right here so we had got that in the other deck too so i feel like some, this person's just not seeing something let's see mm, 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 mm. okay let's go ahead and finish the pumping spread please from the top thank you three two uh-uh one this is definitely someone from the past who wants to communicate with you 
Mm -mm. I don't think so. At least wait till after, uh, what you call it? Uh, what is it? Mercury retrograde. I know some of y'all can contact this person anyway. Or like write them back immediately. But mm -mm, girl, don't do that. Nine of, look, because you, you've independently brought yourself out. Somebody had a lot of teas and concoctions to get them here. Okay. They had to blow up everything to serve justice though. Somebody made some sort of deal behind the scenes. We got heavy Libra energy, seven of wands, but this, this is protecting their home though. So this must be the, the deities or energies that, that y'all work with is very strong. And these people like, okay, let me see something before I say the last part. Justice. Let me see. Mm -mm. Two of swords. Okay. Cause I was going to say, these people came out earlier. Now it is three of cups. It doesn't necessarily mean a coven, but with this picture on there combined with it, that justice is served to that fucking coven. Like these dirty dog head bitches, like dirty dog head bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, a fool just doing too much, you know, like for real. And that's why they asked us left in the dirt. So y'all might be a little kind, but not anymore. It's like, You've gotten too big now. Look, you're like way bigger. You've let the hand, by you letting the universe handle it. I'm talking about like your energy has gotten too big. My bad, y'all. I said that wrong. Okay. But look, so Sagittarius energy, I believe, is a temperance. Again, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But okay, I saw this one too earlier. Two of Wands. Somebody in the way. Okay, it's giving me password. Trying to somebody trying to block your way. But it's just girl, get walk past that motherfucker. Open the damn door. Like, because the, the answer past here is no one is being sure. You have to tell it what you want, know exactly what you want. And then you can pass through the dough. But you see, look, temperance, even with the drinks. She, the bartender, she has drinks. We got flowers in her hair with green hair. We got piercings on the lips, two piercings, blue nails, a corset, a blue corset at that. The drink is purple. I mean, if any of this resonates, then you know it's definitely for you. I can't, I mean, you can see the cards yourself. Anyway, this person, they're telling you, baby, um, this person sees that you're letting the universe work through you, honey. I don't know what the fuck they didn't see. Um, oh, for a lot of you guys, it's being calm in a situation because the temperance also means like not getting upset if somebody tries you. Like sort of way, you know, by being the queen of swords, okay? Because, bitch, you, you're strong. You're very loyal to the cause. You put a lot of work in. You're very much quality over quantity. Because you could have gave in a long time ago, but you didn't. And that's commendable and respectable. This is why this is why you get to walk through these doughs. People are not going to understand you collectively. They're not going to get it. And sometimes, you know, we you, you yourself, you have to take a break and be like, okay, spirit, help me through this. This is something new. You know, I'm, I'm learning. Things like that. You know? But, uh, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. We are almost done here, y'all. Mm. That's who wants to the Knight of Swords. So this person, oh, they don't know what to do. They got some info. Oh, for some of you guys, this, this Knight of Swords, you tried to barge into your energy, barge into your home in some sort of way. Bitch, I rebuke. They couldn't get through the password, though. They had to go through her, too. That's actually real deep. Thank you. They had to go through her, too. And she resorts to a higher power. See, this is, oh, my gosh, y'all. We getting deep. <sighs> this is deep right here. I'm going to hush on that one. But just know that like things are a lot more like complicated than they seem sometimes. Things have m many more layers. And so this is what this person has seen about your energy that clearly you understand that, okay? This is what someone else is feeling within their own self. Maybe they don't, maybe they're not sure what they're identifying energetically, which is okay. Like if you're watching this and you feel like this child, it is more than okay. This is normal. This is what we go through. Um, but if, if that's you where you kind of feel like you know, maybe a little different. Anyway, what if you just resonate with whatever? If you hear this long, you 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 can definitely hit me up for a reading. Remember, they are free and donation based, as well as full price, which is one eleven. So the free ones are for people who feel like they can't afford nothing. Like I really need help. I really need some sort of healing. Like I feel like I really need it. I feel like for real, like God has sent you type thing, the universe, or however you feel. Like, but no. Yeah, because I take myself real serious and as as I should and as y'all should. So 
Anyway, with this two of wands here, somebody is unsure what, to, what door to go through. They feel like if I go this way, it's going to happen this way. If I go this way, it's going to happen this way. Okay, but look, so this person who thought they was going to try to jump into your energy, they had to pass through this lady and they didn't know how to tell the truth. Right? So this is why they couldn't even make it through your fucking protections, bitch. That's crazy. They got scared. I'll tell you right now, they got real terrified. <laughs> Try to come back with an army. Girl, please, for one person. Look, Queen of Pentacles, they felt like this was... Let me tell you something. Clarify this, but you're in the Emperor with the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person could definitely come out on top. They do have to take a lot of action, though. Like, somebody has a... So, this person is being tested. So, this King of Wands is definitely, like, player, side side piece energy, like, all of that. Like, But this is also someone who's a good manifester, master manifester. And they are overseeing the world they manifested, right? It's a lot of passion, won't be extinguished. And it's just, like, pushing and going, okay? Fire energy, of course. This person could be ailed by, like, nighttime paralysis for real like nighttime ailments of some sort whether it be ent energies you know entities or just you know something else you know could be when they sleep or just maybe they're not sleeping i mean there's different things and maybe you're not sleeping because maybe your schedule has changed i mean so some things the darkness is not a bad thing and so i feel like that's what you are experiencing um, or, and so even if this person doesn't know that about you, your team and their team knows that about you, because remember they came over earlier begging for help. I mean, I'm saying it like that because that's what it needs to be said, because it's not even that they're begging. It's more like the energies that are on them are begging. That's how deep it really goes. If you want to take it there, it's like not this person that's crying for help. The person that's trying to play with them, their team, that's what one, two, three degrees. Yeah the fool bitch they played too damn much but yeah those people are the ones who crying for help and it's like that's up to you but remember this person could have caused a lot of gossip on you so i don't know if you really want to deal with that outside person that's messing with this person but you might be able to help this person but the extra person i don't know about that right that's the sun card spirit said that's true this could be their lover this could be their friend this could be their co-worker maybe like some like their partner or like you know like business partner yeah i mean it's true though something like that take that where it resonates i'd love to hear how this has played out for y'all but anyway i feel like you've been very loyal to your work and sometimes it doesn't pay off but it feels like it doesn't pay off but it does because it grows you intuitively queen of swords it forces you to land on yourself and on like it's it sucks trust me i mean i get it like look the magicians in reverse it's like but it won't, it won't manifest into your life because people are, but that way you're like, I'm not even mad about it because people are unable to manifest bullshit into your life because you are the empress. With the five of swords, you've overcome a lot here. But listen, with the queen of cups, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And six of swords, look at that. You moved away from that energy. You moved, you're, you're, you've learned how to overcome the waters. That's what I was going to say about the queen of cups. This queen of cups is very different. Okay. So, you know, she's on a mission. Very strong. You have a very strong foundation. So, okay, that's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. So, those of you guys, keep holding on. For all y'all watching here, just keep holding on. Like, you are so close to the stretch. Like, you're on that stretch. And so, the last thing for you to do is basically stand for something. They're like, okay, go ahead and pick damn near like pick your hobby pick your pick your house like you know gryffindor slytherin you know two of pentacles <sighs> nine of pentacles three of swords so somebody yeah these people are very heartbroken. First of all, they thought this heartbreak was going to stop you from being independent. Yeah, right, bitch. They never thought you were going to stop dealing with cheaters. They never thought you were going to start dealing with third-party energies like this. These people counted you out. I mean, they felt like, oh, like they felt like whatever they felt like, whether they felt like whatever they felt like, but they see now they was wrong as a bitch because you waited it out. I feel like this is your time to shine. You waited, you waited for everybody else to get their time. And you said, baby, when my time is here, I'm I'm doing me. So I hope y'all ready. 
that's the type of energy this is and good for you congratulations so this queen there's i'm telling y'all somebody had a karmic baby bitch somebody had but you know it's gonna have went a couple ways because i definitely feel like even if somebody felt like they had like a like a and not even a karmic baby if somebody felt like they might have felt like they had a karmic baby but maybe they didn't is what i'm really trying to say like maybe somebody had a one night stand and had a baby or maybe they had babies kind of quick or something like that listen life happens okay but it's about how many times you get up it's like if the kids are already here they're already here like they're already here like they're already there you know i want to say plotting but they ain't plotting it's like they they in earth you know they're humans girl anyway somebody feels like they're not hearing their downloads clearly here this because somebody's trying to block them these bitches right here and i rebuke these hoes these weak ass bitches been trying to pop out all night i've been trying to be nice but bitch because the reason why i don't got nothing to say is because this is your people right back on their motherfucking ass like was said earlier, that reversal hit their ass and they tail if one of y'all did that. That eight of swords got their asses stuck, ho. Hmm, I wonder if I should pull a, a oracle. Y'all said y'all wanted longer videos, right? Here we go. Praise God, okay? Praise be to the most high. But you want one of these? I feel like we did just bring Harry Potter. Okay, well, we gonna see. Okay, we got this Harry Potter deck, okay? Let's see relationship. Y'all wanna see this one? what this say? Well, let me see this right here. It says... What would you use a sorcerer's stone? Would you use a sorcerer's stone if you could? What are some of the benefits and drawbacks of immortality? Would it be worth it? Yo, were we not just talking about fucking mummies? There was a mummy on the whole, the fucking picture I just had. And I don't even know if I said immortality, but that thing, they said it for me because that's literally been on the tip of my energy the whole time. But, you know, be, I let it come out. Wow. So I'm going to say it again. Would you use a sorcerer's stone if you could? What are some of the benefits and drawbacks of immortality? And would it be worth it? That's the key word. That's the, that's the question. Daily profit. Wow. Look, this connection between me and Voldemort, what if he, he, he who must not be named? What if the reason for it is that I'm becoming more like him? I just feel so angry all the time. And what if after everything he's done, everything, well, I'm saying as he has in Harry, everything I've done though, through everything I've been through, sorry, y'all, I got excited. He says, and what if after everything I've been through, something's gone wrong inside me? What if I'm becoming bad? It says we all have moments when we don't act our best due to stress or anger or grief. Has there ever been a time when you've doubted your own innate goodness? Mm. Okay. If this is something that you're struggling with now, what sort of actions can you take to overcome these circumstances? Or should you, like Harry, go a little easier on yourself considering the overall situation? Okay, that's true. Let's see this. Remember, this one says relationships. But remember this. You have friends here. You are not alone. That's Professor Dumbledore to Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. It says, when facing adverse situations, it is important to remember you're not alone. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Spend some time connecting with a friend or a loved one. Give them a call. Or better yet, meet up for coffee and catch up. Hello. This is amazing. If you could use a time turner to go back and observe one day or moment in time, what would it be? Why is that particular day or time valuable to you? Okay. I just saw the hat too. The sorting hat. Somebody could be experiencing loss. I'm definitely so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry for your loss. You know, it's like nothing. You know, that person will forever live on through you. I mean, it's sort of, it says, I mean, it's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. While we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. Ooh, these are on it tonight. Okay, they got something to say, honey. I, I respect it and appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Thank you. All right. All right. Personal growth, let's see. What do we need to know right now? 
Thank you. Mm-mm. Personal growth. Okay, we can pull from the top. Three. Two. Thank you. And one. Mm. It says, if you were an Anna... Animagus, what animal do you think you would turn into? Hmm. <clears throat> Says, I want to first say it. What animal from the wizard? It says, what animal form the wizard can turn into cannot be chosen, but depends on what kind of person they are. Ooh, serious black turns into a great black dog. Professor McGonagall turns into a cat. Peter Pettigrew turns into a rat. Okay, so they said you, in this one, you can't pick, remember? Yeah, that's Flight to Fancy. This is deep, this is like Quidditch. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the concept of anim animagi is introduced. Animagis are wizards who have learned to turn into an animal at will. And then that's when the, what animal form the wizard can turn into cannot be chosen. <clears throat> it depends on what kind of person they are. Ooh, that's when you see a bridge. True soul. True spirit. Wow. Wow. So what would you turn into? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Resistance. Got the sword here. What's this? Remember, this is the same one. I mean, it's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. That's Hermione Granger. We know we love Hermione. She's in Harry Potter and the uh, Order of Phoenix. She's in all of them, but that's the movie. This is from, it says, a occasional harmless rule breaking can be good for you. Take a leaf out of Hermione's book today. Go break a minor rule. Like, small as fuck, like legal still. Like something, breaking a rule, but it's like still legal like like when you're in the mall and you're walking on the wrong side of the mall like you're walking on your left side when you should be walking on the right personal growth it doesn't let's see it does it does not to do well on dreams to dwell on dreams Harry and forget to live mm. so being in the present it does not do to dwell on dreams Harry and forget to live Professor Dumbledore and the Sorcerer's Stone. Today, leave the daydreams behind and go outside, okay? Visit a new place, meet up with friends, or simply take a walk. Explore the world a little the world a little, and see what adventure it brings you. Oh, Yeah, so just go down to your local bookstore, to your local coffee shop. The library is free. The coffee shop, girl, you can go to you like a used bookstore free bookstore i know in, in baltimore they got free book meetups once a month child just go to just go to google type in baltimore meetup you know a free book i think it's i, I just type in baltimore book day something it'll pop up and you can see if you got one in near you if you don't live around like the dmv or nothing battling our fears okay Ooh, try meditating okay it says Patronus charm. It says, what memory would you use to conjure your Patronus? Ooh. To conjure your Patronus. What memory would you use to conjure your Patronus? Spend some time reflecting on this. And the next time you're feeling scared or anxious, try meditating on this memory to protect yourself against harmful thoughts and worries. Okay. Okay. The Patronus Charm is a highly advanced spell that conjures a protective shield in the form of a silvery, shimmery animal that repels Dementors. The charm works by concentrating on the most happy memory the person can think of. For Harry, this is a memory of his parents talking to him as a baby. That's a good one. Let's see. This one says, "How does Neville's story? How does Neville's story inspire you along your own journey, finding your identity?" Finally, see the hat came out. Okay. It says, "We've all got both 
Come on now, spirit bitch. Are you serious? Do y'all see that? We've all got both light and dark inside us. We literally just said, we said that on this reading. Look at God. Spirit said, listen, baby, I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna tell you what I got to tell you. Don't worry about that. And I'd be like, yep, yes, I'm here. Okay. We've all got both light and dark inside of us, okay? What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. Serious Black. Order of the Phoenix. Baby, y'all better watch fucking, y'all better get y'all one of these. What's that? A Harry Potter. Y'all better watch Harry Potter if y'all ain't seen them. Shit. Harry Potter been out, shit, about 20 years now. Probably 20 something. Shoot. Ain't nothing wrong with re-watching it. Y'all know, if y'all know me personally, y'all know I re watch this mine. I rewatch my Harry Potter. Me and Bay, we we does that each uh holiday. I started that and my Bay did it with me. Okay. I listen, baby, my auntie used to read us the books, me and my sister, okay? We not the same bitch. I was alive. Let me tell you, we was we was kids and watching the movies, getting them every year on Halloween when they was coming out. Like each year, if we if Harry Potter came out before Christmas, which it they always did, thank you, praise the Lord. Oh yeah, my family, they got that for me. And my sister, they did their big ones with that. Look, values and beliefs, okay? So baby, yes, I've been a Harry Potter girl. That's that's in me, baby, not on me, bitch. I've been listening to books, had all the D have all the DVDs at my auntie house, literally. Bitch, don't play with me. Then she got the books there too. Stop playing with me. Old ones, original ones. So anyway, consider the light and dark sides of your personality. <laughs> Which side do you think? Y'all heard my dark side just come out a little bit. Which side do you... It wasn't really dark. I'm just kidding. Which side do you think you have been choosing to act on the most lately? Mm. It's funny that that's going under the animagus. Values and beliefs. See, I'm telling you, that's basically the whole energy of this whole reading is like values and beliefs. Like sticking to what you believe in. I mean, that is what we've been talking about. What superstitions do you... What superstition... <laughs> What superstitions do you believe in? Hmm. How do they affect the way you approach your life? So they say you can break the rules. Wow, that fell under breaking the rules. So they're letting me know we can release some of our superstitions here. Whoever this is, could be you or the other person. Again, take this where it resonates, but it's the same. Let's see what this one says. Thank you, Spirit. It says working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. Mm. Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix says we all struggle from time to time to believe in our own value and capabilities. Sometimes it's important to remind ourselves of how far we've come. Make a list of 10 accomplishments, big or small, that you've achieved in your life. Okay? Read through it next time you're struggling to believe in yourself as a reminder of just how strong and capable you really are. Okay? Heavy on the no matter how big or small, just, you know, you can worry about the small stuff later. You can worry about the details later. Get through the finish line. I always say that. I'd be like, yo, get to the finish line. And then you can talk about the rest later. But, you know, as long as you, you, you got to do what you got to do. You got to live. You and your people got to live, you know. Ooh. Who would you choose to be your secret keeper? Ooh, what's this one say? Which character in the Harry Potter films do you most identify with? What is it about the character that resonates so strongly with you? Does Neville story pop, Neville story pop that again? Let's get one more here for the last one. Patronus charm. Yeah, so remember that memory. Think about, that is a good question. What memory would you use to conjure up your Patronus? That is a pretty dope-ass question. Okay. Let's see. Three. Thank you. Patronus charm. Uh-uh. Two. One. But remember this. You have friends here. You are not alone. Wow. Wow. That's from Goblet of Fire from Professor Dumbledore. Wait, we just pulled this one. Yeah, when you're facing adverse situation, it's important that you remember you're not alone. So somebody's gonna invite you out, you should go out, you should, like I said, with the coffee, milk. What obstacles have you overcome in your life and how did they shape your growth? Wow. So your your, your team is very clear on the message. Give yourself the... um. 
the credit, pat on the back, whatever it is that people tried to take from you, make you feel like you wasn't a, a, enough or allowed to have or whatever this, whatever, what, what have you. Okay, like, let me see. Okay, we, we taking our time with this. Y'all deserve, y'all deserve a good, you know. Yeah. Listen. This one of those readings that you could pause and come back to. Yeah, I do that. I'm a big fan of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we got to work. Sometimes things come up. Like, you can't, you know, if you can watch the whole thing, cool. But if not, or if you feel like watching the whole thing, cool. If, if you're not in the mood, it's, it's fine, too. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. That's why I put so many videos out. So, if you know, maybe if you know that I'm cool with it, like, you don't have to feel bad at all. Remember from earlier, I was saying, I'm just so glad that anybody who even just liked my videos, sent it to someone, booked a reading, free or paid, it don't matter. But just sharing that energy with me and, uh, you know, trusting me with your energy. I forgot to ask y'all for permission today, but I'm getting better, okay? Because I'll be asking y'all guys for permission. But then I'm like, okay. You know, I do my privates, but I'm okay. I'm gonna put on the what you call it, two on the collective two. Anyway, let me say focus, okay? Let's see, should it be these? An elder will teach you, okay? Wow, so an elder is coming into you, coming near you. You have a an elder that walks with you. Some of y'all already work with this elder, some of y'all maybe you you do, but you don't know that you do. And then maybe some of you guys, they're calling you in. So however this resonates for you, is for you. But reconsider your alliances because this elder will teach you, okay? You have high access to a lot of levels of things here. And this is great, okay? 14, this could be January the 4th here for somebody. Somebody could be 14 years old, the year 2014, Yes, somebody could have turned 25 here in the year 2014 for some of you guys. Somebody's birthday, something about one January the 4th, 2025 or April the 1st, 2025. Unfolding sadness. Look, uh, uh see, that's what, mm -mm, no, that's, that's okay. Look at that. I'm trying to get the cards off. Mm -mm, I'm trying to be emotional. This is someone, oh, see. They, they, they're trying to play with you because, and it, it's funny though, because they always get caught up. So here's the point. Earlier we was looking at a fucking ship. And so that is you and your spirit guides on the dream waters. The waters, like, you know, that's how the dream world kind of works. Like, look at that. Come on now. The mermaid of immersion completes um, immersion. The mermaid, come on. Like she's literally in the water, but time has come to act as now look complete commitment listen you are meant to have complete commitment in your life like you don't have time to play with anybody like it just is what it is right so good for you because it's like you're counting your blessings since you you have the power of three this can be three those three witch bitches that try to come out earlier yeah but there's been time for a change you no longer rock with these same type of groups these same type of thought processes good for you but i also feel that some things that maybe you weren't into before maybe you are into now or maybe you it's just like that but that comes with time like you get more access to more knowledge and you also learn how to balance things out because remember that two of pentacles that kept coming out earlier also means balance it's a lot of energy on the table honey you know everything comes out at the time it's supposed to come out but i've seen it all i was just letting spirit work because i'm like okay what do you need them to know for their best, for the best of them? Look at that. Transition to the spirit realm. Like this makes me feel like ancestors. Angel makes me feel like an ancestor here. So your ancestors are telling these, these voodoo bitches to back the fuck off. That's no disrespect to voodoo, but the people who, if somebody thought they were going to play with you, bitch, your team. Listen, they said back the fuck off, bitch, because they didn't know who they was playing with. So they really learned what was up here. So anyway, your angels told these bitches to back the fuck off because whatever voodoo they tried to send to you, bitch, you sent that shit. Your guides happily sent that shit back. And it was not pretty. And that this was an aha moment for this person. And it was an aha moment for you too. Fairy of the divine hand, bitch, they know that you have the divine with you. Now they're scared as fuck. 
They're like, oh my gosh, this person sees clearly. Yeah, you do. You're a winged seer here. Clairvoyance. We got the 12, 2012, January the 2nd here, the year somebody's 12 years old. But with this Poe here, P-O-E, Edgar Allan Poe, somebody's boss as well, technology here. Time for a change. To learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So they're saying to be very careful with this energy. This is also like very potent spiritual energy too. So somebody is required to be very careful and cautious with this energy. This is giving me close practice for some of y'all. This is giving me um, very sacred knowledge and good for you. This is someone who really cares about their true spirit um, and spirit team. This is why this elder is really like watching you right now. Uh, you got the angel twice. So uh, look at that. You literally have the violet angel. You have the violet angel now. with The angel of uh, De Los Muertos. So is this Santa La Muerte for some of y'all work with her? Hey, that's, that's lit. Somebody, this purple, this purple angel, like somebody's deeds, he could have purple, like, you know, even your favorite color could be purple. Something about the crown chakra as well here. Okay, thank you, Spirit. This is going well. Mm -mm. Three witchy sisters. These bitches, let me tell you, these people don't read. They don't do nothing. But you know what? Let me tell you something. I'm not making fun, though, because I understand. Let me tell you something. Before I say anything, let me make this clear. If this is someone who has never been taught to read, this does not apply to them. Okay. If this is, if, yeah, if, if a person just is unsure, they've never been taught how to read, that's something totally different, okay? But if this person knows how to read and they just choose to get mad at you because that's what you do, you do your own research, read the energy, read the books, read the cards, read, read yourself. There's Violet again. Something, bitch, they are not fucking playing with y'all. Like, it's very consistent um, as to who is with y'all. Mm, okay. Wow. It's very evident. Back off. They, they're telling these weak ass bitches to back the fuck off because somebody's bored with it. They're stuck. They're stuck and they're trying not to lose hope now. Spirit is telling you not to lose hope. And it's like somebody wants to try one more time. It's time to be brave. But your spirit team said, we're here. And they came back with their own stuff. It's like your team taunted them, baited them. Let them walk themselves all the way back here. Think shit was sweet. All the way back to this enclosed situation. And then they closed the door on them and did what they had. To, listen, made them count their blessings here. That was a wonderful idea. They had that aha moment. Let me tell you something. Again, your, your, your team told their asses to back the fuck off. Okay, I'm just going to put the bitch up here. Okay, no. A clockwork pumpkin. Clockwork orange came up today. Or yesterday. Am I you know regular combo okay clockwork orange well bitch you see clearly so count your blessings and understand you are a lot more blessed than you're number one you're the leader you know how blessed you are and you don't need outside validation okay is there any advice here let's see let's go and get some advice for them let's close it out with some advice thank you spirit three no, we're going to work it out a little bit more because, yeah, it says just reconsider your connections. I feel like there probably have been a lot of changes here, but there's changes within you. Okay. The ages 16 through 39 could be significant. Um, March the 9th, 2016. The ages, like I said, 16 through 39, but 16 and 39. Please don't lose hope. So that's that's the advice here. Please keep going, okay? Six, life path six. Six years old, six years. 18, again, stifled, bored. This is giving me Queen Charlotte energy. I feel like you, see, you were fed up with something. Like they were, they were making you and letting you be fed up so that you, this is... They were letting you be fed up so that this important ending could happen on your own. Like you could be able to figure it out on your own, make your own decisions because it's nobody's choice but yours, right? So which at the end of the world, an important end to create a new beginning. Yeah, that's the aha moment. You understood what had to be done. So at the end of the day, it's like, well, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. 
So I feel like you, you did feel like something was not enough for you. So whatever that was, you felt like it was not enough. Like you were very bored. You felt stuck. Because this is how people wanted you to feel. But I feel like this is most definitely how somebody feels if they try to come for you. But your team is telling you, honey, you're not. You can go outside and shut your feet, okay? You're allowed. You don't have to spend money. Like you can, listen, do your research. This is the best thing you can do. Always, you know, thrift stores are your best friend. Marshalls, you know, that sort of stuff. TJ Maxx, Ross, you know, do your research, you know. Everything doesn't have to cost you a million dollars. Like, this is real life, and, and we're surviving out here. So, again, what I'm trying to say is you can get you a nice, a cute little blanket. It can even be a sheet and go have you, like, I know people don't like this word, but a picnic, you know, like, and it doesn't even have to be formal. Girl, you could bring you one of them recycle bags. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Get you a couple recycle bags from the, uh, the grocery store, the giant and stuff, Kroger, wherever. Get you them recycle bags, Publix, and put your stuff in there. You make you some sandwiches. You can get you some little fried chickens or, you know, little fried chicken wings from the, um, like, Publix or definitely from Publix. Oh, my gosh. If you have a Publix where you live, baby, you get you some pub subs. Bitch, I was tasting that motherfucking chicken tender sandwich earlier in my mouth, girl. I didn't even used to get that one when I lived in Tampa, but I want it now. Hell. Shit. They ain't got that thing up where I live. So yeah, if you got Publix, get matter of fact, if you got a Publix near you and you and you get you a, a a pub sub and send me the picture, you get a free reading on me. Definitely. But look, they said count your blessings. Definitely send me pictures though. I want to see it because man, and pub subs. I used to get the turk. What is it? The turkey jerk jerk turkey. That's an old one too. That might not even be on the menu. I think they got jerk chicken now. But they used to have that jerk turkey. Too fucking good. Look at that glamour magic here. Baby, you, you got glamour magic on your side. And maybe they didn't know that. But p you have people very intrigued. Could be starting drama, girl. Just by you being that girl. By you being that guy. Like, what? So, yeah, they said, remember, you can use glamour magic if you... You know what I mean? Just talk to your spirits. Like, why not? Hell yeah. So... So somebody's telling, yeah, this person is being forced to go back and now they, they want you to help them. That's what I said in the beginning. I was like, see, they're going to want fucking help. Look at that's what they're saying. They're begging you for help now. Are you fucking serious? It's like, no. Kylie said, uh-uh. <laughs> From death comes rebirth. It's like, uh-uh. They had to go so that you could rebirth yourself and you already, you're in the rebirth process, period. Look at that. Release your power. Dress of alchemy. Amen. Alchemize that. Okay. Anyway, the signs are with you already. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. But yeah, remember, count your blessings because we all struggle from time to time. You're at a much better place than you give yourself credit for or that you realize. And a lot of this is not going to be your fault. This is something that, you know, we've accepted that the world told us we were, even though we were not. We never were that. We were always this. Time for spirit. So call on spirit to walk with you and help you through this. Okay. Because she's out of there, baby. She's meditating. She's gone in another dimension. She in, she passed time. She future passed, all that. She is outside of time right here. So, amen. That's where you're headed to. And that's what you're doing right now. So, again, you're mending your broken heart from this, you know, this tragic, you know, these bumpy waters. It says guidance, but where will it lead you? Holding on too tight. Yeah, so these people wanted to trauma bond with you. But you're not going for it because you've already see because you healed your own heart or like you and your small team, whoever it is. Y'all did that. But the pastor's trying to return a girl. We ain't got time for it, but you got a time for spirit. This is good news. And they, your voodoo game hits hard. If somebody does voodoo like one of my peoples, if y'all do voodoo, y'all is hitting, bitch. And that's on period. That's what that's what the fuck they get. Yeah, time because they had to learn something new with their own wisdom. See, they was probably out here trying to judge you, saying you do voodoo and everything. It's like okay, and don't like okay. You know what I mean? Like, what is you? you what that was supposed to hurt? The bitch. That's actually a fucking. <laughs> it's an honor, really. What the fuck is you saying? You talking about voodoo? Okay, cool. Anything else? Like, the fuck? You thought I was going to jump? You thought a bitch was going to shake? No. 
Okay. Mm -mm. You said I'm bored. Like, you are so bored with the battle. Like, they're in the battle with themselves, girl. Look at that. Because you go, this Kylie energy, bitch, you're like, I'm done with you hoes. Like, it's over with. Because the natural world needs you. The signs are with you already. Okay, period. Yeah, you have a lot of um, divine intervention happening. A lot of your ancestors are walking with you at this time, helping you to do things that maybe they couldn't do. Somebody's holding on to, oh. So what's not being seen here too is that maybe the person trying to come against you is holding on to this glamour magic too tight and they don't know that, they forget that you know how to do glamour, but the real point is they're so used to using glamour that it's not real, it's a facade. Like, <clears throat> I love, I love, you know what I'm saying? I respect glamour magic. I love it. I'm not saying, but what I am saying is you also, glamour magic only works for real, for real when you got something, some substance beneath the bitch. When you got a strong fucking foundation. They don't have no foundation. Their foundation is the glamour magic. Ah! And that's where they went wrong, but you're a natural. Like, this is no shade, no tea. I don't mean, I just mean like your, your energy is a natural energy. Like, you are part of the natural world. Like, you don't need no fucking glamour magic, bitch. That's a plus. These people make that their whole foundation. This is just giving me some sort of, like, um, almost like if you could eat bubbles. I keep thinking about that that type of margarita you could get when they have that fucking bubble, bubbles fucking thing on top. I don't even know what it is. It looked like soap bubbles, you know, but it's not. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all been to, like, a bougie restaurant, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, um... And they don't do it all the time, but you know, I've definitely had a um me and my partner, me and my, my partner and I have definitely had that at a restaurant. Remember, the natural world needs you, bitch. Use the real thing, and that's on period. Amen. <laughs>